Where do I start? <laughs> Thank you, Mariners. Thank you for the great season. Um, that was not how I was expecting it to go, especially the second half of the year. You guys balled out towards the end and made a push towards the playoffs. And honestly, as a fan, that's all you can ask for when the players give it their all. We came up short. Um, didn't even get a chance to uh, get into the wild card game 163 to get into the wild card. Exceeded all the expectations this year and the future is looking bright, so I can't complain. Just wanna talk about these last two games, game 161 and 162. Game 161 might have been one of the coolest games I've ever gotten to watch of Mariners baseball. I mean, it's up there with games such as Felix is a perfect game. Going into the last game, game 162, they had the win and also the Yankees or Red Sox had to lose. Both the Yankees and Red Sox won, so it ended up not mattering whether we won or lost. We ended up losing the game anyways to the Angels. If you told me at the beginning of the year they'd be a 90 win team, I kind of would have thought you're crazy. It's sad to see Kyle Seeger go. I didn't even realize that he was leaving the team, honestly. I totally forgot about it, but the impact that Kyle Seeger has had on the Mariners and just I guess Seattle this past decade has been incredible in my opinion. The stats speak for itself. He's always there, Gold Glover. I think he's close to 250 career home runs now. So it'll be interesting to see what his career looks like going forward and away from uh, the Mariners, I guess. You know, the Mariners are good at giving us hope and kind of teasing us about being a good team. But this year it was awesome, even though we didn't get into the playoffs. Uh, giving us hope, believing in our city. It was great to see all the fans show out at, say, well, T-Mobile now. T-Mobile Park, it was packed there. I've never seen it like that before. I wish I could have gotten to a game. That would have been awesome. If you were at that 161 game, man, that would have been electric. I was freaking out from home. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get going, JP. Get going. Let's go. In that game, Jared Walsh hit a three run shot to put him ahead and just a pin dropped in the stadium. But the Mariners, you know how they are. They always come back right at the last minute. Mitch Hanniger had himself a day. I believe five RBIs on the day and a clutch go ahead hit. And then Kyle Seeger blooping it in there to get us more insurance runs and then ended up winning that game. Honestly, I really thought we were gonna be able to win the last game, but like I said, it didn't matter because the Red Sox and Yankees won. Jared Walsh once again hitting a home run, kind of putting that dagger through all of Seattle's hearts. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the Mariners this season. Uh, more importantly, the last couple of games and all the hype surrounding the Mariners. It was very cool to see as a fan of the Mariners and rooting them for a while now. In the future, I hope our prospects get called up do good, Kellenic next season turns it around. Seems like he figured it out towards the end of the season. Sign some free agent pitching, impact bats in the future. That'd be awesome as well. So I think we're in a good spot and we're headed in the right direction. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB and baseball content. It's gonna get wild, boys. I mean, the playoffs are starting tomorrow. Uh, I believe the AL wild cards first, so that'll be fun to watch. So I'll have my predictions video coming out tomorrow. I'm about to go film it right now. So you're going to want to stick around for that. With that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. Go M's. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.